सो दिस इज ए क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर ऑर्डर एंड रैंकिंग इन रीजनिंग राइट आज बाई यू पी एस सी इन सी सेट पेपर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू थ्री पर्सन ए बी एंड सी आर स्टैंडिंग इन ए क्यू इन ए क्यू नॉट नेसेसरी इन द सेम ऑर्डर देयर आर फोर पर्सन बिटवीन ए एंड बी सेवन पर्सन बिटवीन बी एंड सी एंड इफ देयर आर इलेवन पर्सन अहेड ऑफ सी एंड थर्टीन बिहाइंड ए वॉट कुड बी द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पर्सन इन द क्यू राइट सो सी दिस इज ए हार्ड क्वेश्चन इफ यू विल ट्राई टू डू इट इन द एग्जाम विदाउट नोइंग द कॉन्सेप्ट it's very hard to find the solution right so i am telling you the best uh, technique to solve this question okay so see how we will approach it so the question is saying there are three person standing in a queue not necessarily in the same order right so the first statement there are four person between a and b so what i will write i will write like this so there are four person between a and b so the possibility is like this the second possibility is b 4 b right now seven person between b and c now the second is there are seven person between b and c so now from this one this case right we are getting this is case one okay suppose you are writing case one and this is case two so from here there are two possibility so this will be a 4 b and the there are seven person between b and c so suppose c is on this direction so there are seven person between b and c right so this is also possible that c is in this side right on the left side of b if c is on the left side of b then it will become like a 4 b now there are 7 person between b and c so this is 4 plus 1 5 plus 2 7 then c will come here right and if the case is like this so then from here also we will get two case if c is on the right so this will become b 4 a so char aur ek panch now two people 7 and then c will come his side if the c is on the left of b then this will become c 7 b 4 a okay now next if there are 11 person ahead of c so there are 11 person ahead of c so c is here right there are 11 person ahead of c so this is 7 plus 8 plus 1 8 plus 4 this is 12 so this is becoming but the question is saying there are only 11 but here this is becoming 12 or 13 so this case is not possible right now we will check this case so there are 11 percent ahead of c so this will become 11 c 2 a 4 b right and in this case 11 percent ahead of c so this will become 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 7 plus 1 8 how many are remaining otherwise you can directly write like this okay And thirteen behind A. So behind A are how many? Thirteen, right? The second statement I am reading. Eleven percent ahead of C, and thirteen behind A. So here behind is how many? Two plus one three we already counted. Total are thirteen. So the remaining are ten. So after C there will be ten more. So the ten will come here, right? because the question is saying there are 13% from here till here there are 13 okay after a actually so from here so three people we already counted so the remaining are 10 so we are writing c ke baad 10 right now in this one in this case what will happen they are 11% ahead of c so this will be 11% ahead of c so this will be like this right and 13 behind a so 13 will come here Now, what could be the minimum number of person in the queue? So, हमें find out करना है कि minimum number of person कितने हो सकते हैं queue में. Suppose this is a queue, so कितने possible हुए? So, in this case, we have missed one thing. Like there are thirteen behind a, so there are thirteen people behind a, right? So, this is four plus one five, right? But there are thirteen people, right? So, five we already considered here. Okay. So, how many are remaining? So, we can write it like this. Uh, we can write it like eleven c two A and thirteen, so no need to consider this here. Okay, we can directly write. So now the total number of people in this queue will become eleven, twelve, right, fourteen, fifteen plus thirteen, right. So this will be twenty-eight, and in this case this will be twenty-one plus one, twenty-two, and in this case eleven plus one, twelve plus seven, nineteen. 
so this is 29 right so the minimum is 22 so the answer of this question is option a. okay so the answer is option a i hope you have to understand all of you i have best possible way mein samjhane ki koshish kari hai this question okay so that exam mein is tarah ka koi bhi question aayega so you guys can do it 